Hello mates, my name is Risk and welcome to Quiet Valley. Now this is a pixel horror game about uncovering the school mass murder. Wow, you're good at intros, what can I say? I'm not redoing this intro, have fun. Uh, let's go and play the game. This was made by John Horn. Huh, which save file should I choose? I think I'll choose the first one. I hope you're having a good day. I certainly do. I gotta say, I'm really enjoying the comments lately, or reading the comments lately at my on my videos. I don't know. The comments has, section has been very fun lately. And, um, I just wanted to thank you for that. So thank you for showing up to my videos and, uh, leaving very nice comments and spoiling me. So this pixel horror game has some weird distortion effect, like an, a fisheye point of view. And uh, it's gonna make the game more scary because it's gonna make the game harder to deal with. You know, if I, if I was just able to see everything normally, I'd probably have an easy time, right? Well, where did it, wasn't there a mailbox here? There is. <gasps> there is an issue. <laughs> well, it's not really an issue, but it's a thing that I find an issue. I'm moving my mouse. The screen isn't moving. You know why? It's a grid. It only moves after a, a certain amount of movement of my mouse. It's a grid. It's like, um, the best way I could describe it is if this screen was made for a controller rather than a mouse input. That's interesting. Faculty, due to the large number of students breaking into the shed, I had to change the lock combination again. Damn, kids keep stealing my power tools. Please know that the new combo is 45-year-old man had dated a 46-year-old woman. I'm taking my vacation. Thank you, Janitor Stills. All right, thank you, Janitor Stills. I wonder what kind of a... Is he the one taking the vacation with the 46? Uh, anyway... Where is the shed? It would be in the back, wouldn't it? All right. Yeah, the door to the school is locked. This is a school and we're here to investigate it. I'm not entirely sure if we're playing as an investigator per se. Oh, the flower went away. I gotta say, it's gonna take me a while to get used to this fisheye view. Because there is bad things in this game. There is jump scares. There is enemies that'll be out to kill you. So running away and then losing my way of uh, where I was running to isn't very ideal for me. But hey, I guess it's gonna make the game more interesting and, uh, and spooky. Definitely spooky. Anyway, more crows. Get out of here, will ya? I'm looking for a shed. It's not this one, that's for sure. This is the gate, where I came from. I can't find the shed, actually. Oh! There is a hole here in the fence. Or a way to the back. Wow, this is very odd. Or maybe, yeah, this is the shed. Why am I being so silly? Anyway, I, what was the code again? <laughs> Janitor Stills, a 45-year-old man, went to a vacation with his ma'am, which is 46-year-old. Yes. Hmm. There is a shovel. I'll take it. I got shovel. Does it say anything here? Scroll to change items. <laughs> My little grabby hands. This game has no chance with these kind of grabby hands. I literally grab whatever comes to my hand. Anyway, I gotta dig something. If I see a little uh, dent in the sand, I guess I'll dig it. I don't know what else to do. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this game is very distorting, let me tell ya. It's very, very distorting. Uh, like, this is... Uh, like, such a simple thing of just looking around is so difficult. Huh, what is that? Look like something buried here. Welp. <laughs> Welcome to my unboxing channel. What am I gonna... F 
Oh, okay, it's just the key. Got a school key. Thanks. I also got an achievement for that. Right, now to find the entrance to the school. The door has been unlocked. That's good to hear. Let me take a sip of my water. I gotta stay hydrated. Does it say exit backwards? I think it does. Hmm, I can't read whatever is on the wall. What is this? It's like a theater? Yeah, figures. With all the chairs around. Can I check behind the theater? Let's check the backstage. This is so freaky to look at. Like, this is so distorting. I might just put like... An epilepsy warning at the beginning of the video, I'm not even sure. Like, can this even trigger a... I don't know. Uh, I, if there is somebody in this school, I don't want them to know I'm here, but I think now it's too late. There's a little can here. I'd like to... I guess it's just trash, isn't it? Anyway, let's leave the backstage. Back to the main hall. Now, everything is distorted, so... Please excuse me as I try to interact with everything. I'm checking every single pixel to make sure I'm not missing anything. There is a door to my left. Storage room A. The door is locked. Well, there is a note here. No, it's not. Oh, the basement is open. The storage is locked, but the basement? <laughs> there you go, buddy. Wait. It's too dark down there. Oh, okay, I thought it's just the distortion effect screen with my eyes again. Okay, luckily I can't interact with the lockers, so hopefully if there is an interactable locker somewhere, it'd be a bit different than the other ones. Now with this distortion effect, I could easily be jumped on. Uh, the design of horror games so far is that the only way you die to a threat is if you run into it, because generally you're faster than whatever the threat is. Over here, my vision is so obstructed that I'm bound to run into whatever is chasing after me, or is dangerous to me. Well, it seems like I found the computer room. This is, uh, <laughs> where you open mini clip games and play flash games when the teacher ain't looking. What? Something written on the board? 10.01. Alright. Uh, <laughs> the tr <laughs> this distortion effect. It looked like the trash was like, bye. See you later. I'm out of here. All right. A 10 years old said, Haha, I only need one bullet to put you down. And it's like, whoa, where did you get a gun? With that kind of story, you just cannot forget these uh, names. No, uh, these names, these codes. Anyway, this is a room... Wait, am I having frame rate issues? I don't see myself dropping frames. I guess it's in the game. Oh! Nothing's here. I can check the desk. I didn't even know. The door behind me closed. I'm sorry, but I went to other different rooms and I didn't hear the door close on me before. So I just find it a little strange. Oh. Something is written on the board. Let's go check it out. Seems like we have a prankster here still. Free us. Uh oh. Okay. I mean, I came to this school for a reason, right? So, might as well free them. Alright. Room 102 was definitely eventful. I have no idea, by the way, where I am within this school. I can't really map it out in my head. Since it's so distorted. 104 is open. Sure, let's take a little look here. Somebody gonna write something on the... No? Yeah, I better check the desks. 
I'm stuck on something. Like, I'm so distorted. I'm stuck on things that I can't even tell what they are. I think... <laughs> this is so distorted. 103, I assume, right? There is a note here. Hey, Ricky. I swear I saw the ghost of old Principal Sanders last night. They're in cheerleading practice. He was only there for a second, and then he ran off down the hall. I don't know. Maybe I should lay off the weed, but I'm really sure scared to be here at night now you should stay after with me next time and keep me safe love summer damn summer you're a scary cat principal sanders that can't be real <laughs> what what room is this am i even going back now Nothing's here. I may as well be going back and I don't know. No, this is 106. We're definitely checking around. I see another note over there. So we're gonna go here. Open drawer. And then we're gonna go... up. Oh, oh, that's too distorted. What does it mean? I had a dream last night. Uh, there was a tornado outside the school. I was the only one who could see it. I tried to get everyone to safety, but no one seemed to care. The teachers told me to get back to work and my friends just laughed. I went down to the basement alone. Um, yeah, this note does not have an author. He does not wish to be identified. Which could mean it was written to his diary. Regardless, though... I'm leaving. I assume I just went up the stairs to the second floor. Yep, this confirms it. 206. 205. Again, I'm, I'm gonna probably be caught off guard just because of how distorted everything is. He's like, I. I it's very distorted. Nothing here. This is 206, right? I don't see anything on the tables. Uh, 204 and 203. I don't see anything in 203. There's nothing there, too. Oh, 204 is locked. What's so special about... <gasps> I will never disrespect 204 again. I'm sorry, ma'am. Do you know that a 10-year-old with a gun said hello? Ooh, science lab. Let's make a concoction to make this game less distorted. <laughs> Maybe it's a weed simulator. I smoke too much weed, I can't freaking see. I'm sure I'm supposed to cook some sort of concoction here. I got a quarter. Damn. Seems like science pays off. I'm out. God damn, it's so distorted. By the way, who was that uh, lady? Was that Summer by chance? Because so far we've seen a letter from Summer to Ricky. So I assume it may be Summer's. Set them free. And a little Lego man. <laughs> I ain't scared of little Lego man. Mr. Bones. Nothing here. Oh, <laughs> there is definitely someone here. What the heck? <laughs> what is that? It's just a poster of a man. I like it a lot. But like I said before, as you saw the summer jump scare, I guess we can get we can call it like that. It was very easy to me to run into her without noticing she's uh there. Storage room B is locked. Uh once we reach 207, we know we've made a complete lap, by the way. I'm not sure what that door was, but I'd like to check the other doors. Surveillance room is also locked. Should I check the toilets? Alright, let's start with toilet A. 
This seems to be the men's stall. Hmm, I don't see anything. None of the stalls are open. And I can't knock on any of them. Nothing in the sink. And what is this? A mirror, I presume? Damn, I should definitely lay off the weed. Alright, the second bathroom. Nobody here. I knocked on one of the stalls in the girl's bathroom. I got an achievement called Occupied. Can't open it anymore though. Or can't open it at all. I wouldn't want to open it anyway. I, I just am looking for something to do in this game. Because so far all I have is 10 or 1. That's it. Uh, 216. <gasps> that was Ricky, I presume, right? That gotta be Ricky. Now this drawer ain't open, meaning I've, I haven't been here. Oh, I'm lagging in this room a bit. I got room 209 key. That's down below. Wait, no, 209, that's not down below. That's around here. But it seems like I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna have to be very uh, methodical about this, because every room could contain an item. And since it's so distorted, I'm just gonna be very focused on checking each room without making a mistake here. Seems like it's really about exploration. And getting jump scared, of course. So are Rick and Summers the only people trapped in this uh, nightmare, I guess? Wait, there is another note. I'll check the drawer. And we'll check the note. Petition. We, the undersigned students of Quiet Valley High School, say Whiteface should be the new school mascot. <laughs> Whiteface? Okay, now I see why everything is pixelated and distorted. Did you happen to remove his heart by chance, or did you put it in a different folder? 212. It seems like we're getting close to 209, which is uh, a classroom we have a key for. Alright. Nothing's here. Coolio. I'm gonna try and not run, because I... Oh. I guess this is the stairs to go down. Oh, I heard something. I'm not sure if it's from outside my room. Because there is a little bit of movement outside right now. 209 should be around here. The door has been unlocked. By the way, we've seen a strange Lego figure in one of the notes. I'm, I wonder what that's about. What is that? Uh, it looked like a drawing of a teacher or a graduate. English class syllabus, 1994. Nolan Drew. Course objectives. We will learn Roman numerals. Student must be able to read and write numbers up to 1000. Pop quizzes may be possible. Require text, Roman numerals. I to M by Alibi Lindsay. Are these no Roman numerals right now? Oh, these are. Well, this is, doesn't seem a code like a code to me. It just seems like a, a going up, like it just goes up. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll see. This doesn't really seem like anything. But why did I need a key to unlock this room? There gotta be something in here that I'm supposed to do. I'm sorry, but if there was something in this room, it went over my head. Oh yeah, I have a quarter. 
we're almost at a full uh, circle. 207 is just around the corner. Once we check it out, we know uh, floor two was completely checked. I hear something. I'm not sure if it's me. 207. There is a note in 207. Hold on. Okay, can this note shed some light on what the heck is going on? Tammy, I hope Brandon is okay. He said he was going to stay at the school last night to try to see Whiteface, and he didn't show up for class today. Maybe he got sick or something. I just can't help but worry about him. Hopefully he didn't get caught and get expelled. Barb, which I assume is a shortage for Barbara. Okay. <sighs> I guess we either go up or down now. This is to go down. Should I go down though? Oh, what is this room? Another science room? Because the tables are really large. That's usually only science room. Or robotics. Either science or robotics. Either way, though. Oh! I was able to use the quarter on this uh, machine and I got a red key. This is a key for the surveillance. Let's go check it out. By the way, I haven't been able to find a save file. Or a save station, so... I'm afraid to press escape, because sometimes games like these quit instantly. So I, I just hope it's automatic. Oh no, no, okay. I, I Eventually I gathered up the courage to try and save the game, because I was like, well, if I die and it isn't, and I'll have to do everything all over again, I'll be pretty mad. So I'd rather take the hit now than later. Now I just gotta find the surveillance room. I believe it was somewhere around here. There it is. Is it still active though? Oh my, it is. Oh, <laughs> a little tumble over there. 1024994. I must be losing my mind. I saw him one of the in one of the cameras. Maybe the kids have been telling the truth. Maybe it really is real. No, it can't be. I've just been working for too long. I'm pro it's probably a student playing a Halloween trick. I need to go home and get some rest. This is floor two. So my floor. I heard a step, but I don't see anything. This is to go down. This is the where we've been a second ago. Hmm. I guess it's just statics, it's not really steps. I don't... I don't see him. Wow, there is a lot of cameras here. Uh, this is to go up. You can barely see it, but if I move the mouse a tiny bit, you can see it for a moment that it's pointing upwards and not downwards. Okay, this is floor one now. It's behind my face cam, so hopefully I move it for you guys and I don't forget it. Oh, this is the basement. I got an achievement called Eyewitness. So this is, I guess, the author of the diary that we've just read. There is a door next here. I wonder if that's the entrance. Camera 10. Front yard. Well, it's hard to see. And we're back to camera 1. So I presume the author of the diary is an individual known as Whiteface. Wonder what that's about, white face. Oh, frick me. 
I've been scared by a ball. So the gym is right around the corner, right? This is the stalls. This uh, locker is a bit colorful. Well, sure. Something tells me 1001 is not doesn't go here because it's very colorful. So it's probably going to be associated with numbers in any way or in some way. So if I can figure out the code, I'll come back. Damn, there is a lot to explore on each floor, isn't it? Or isn't there? <laughs> a little treasure chest, sure. Oh, I got storage B key. Wait a second. The surveillance key was red. This key is, is green. Maybe the rooms are associated with colors? I'm gonna save. I don't know. Storage B, I think, is down this hall. Hopefully Whiteface doesn't leave his basement. Storage room B. Storm storage room B. Do be green. That's how, how I'll remember it. Okay, so I opened the storage room B to get a storage room A. Sure. May as well have given me the storage room A key. Something is behind the vent. Well, if I find a screwdriver... I'll come back. <laughs> Which door contained a jump scare? Um, I think this one. Nope. Oh, note. Mass murder. Devastation has struck our peaceful town of Quiet Valley. As yesterday morning, nearly 200 students were murdered in the basement of our once revered high school. Using a scheduled tornado drill as his ploy, Principal Greg Sanders led the entire studi uh, student body of the subsurface level of the school, he pl he then proceeded to release a cyanide-based pesticide into the vents, suffocating every living soul within the building. Sanders then made his way back to his office, where he suffered a self-inflicted gunshot wound to his head. Sanders was found dead by the investiga investigation team yesterday afternoon, along with a suicide note left in the fill uh, filling cabinet. It is believed Sanders had only been plotting to murder the students for a few days prior. The school will now be shut down indefinitely. We fear our town may never be the same again. With the loss of so many of our youth, families have been torn apart. A number is greater than any we have experienced before. A candlelit vigil has been scheduled for tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Participants are asked to bring prayer to help us get through these times. Who am I playing as? Alright, we're looking for the stairs to go down below. However, the cameras just confirmed we're not alone in this school. So I better be on my toes. And by that I mean save the game. And also by that I mean drinking water. I uh, thought it's like a little midget man looking at me. <laughs> little midget man. That's a huge fridge. I already used my coin upstairs. Quiet Valley High Reopening. Many of us will never forget the chilling events that took place in the Quiet Valley nearly eight years ago. It was then the f that former principal Greg Sanders took the lives of so many uh, promising young individuals. After time has come to pass, the local administration has decided to reopen the doors of Quiet Valley High School. Many town residents have stood up against this decision, especially those who tried, who have tried to have the high school torn down these past several years, believing it to be unjust to the victims of the carnage that took place in the fall of 84. This decision was finalized by Governor Ron Cohen yesterday afternoon after a meeting with other local officials. The school is set to be reopened this September. Why am I here, though? Again, we've seen all this information, but how does that... I'm just uncovering what actually happened here, but I'm not an investigator in any way. So I wonder, like, what my scheme in this whole thing is. This is where we started. This is the theater. 
Storage room A. A screwdriver? Room 204 key. I do not recall room 204 being locked. But that's just because I don't recall any room being locked. There is nothing else in this storage room. And I don't feel exactly safe. We'll go to 204 now. 204. Exactly the room I've been looking for. And right away a note for me. Name date pre-algebra quiz. 9x4. What is this? 8 plus 6. Okay. Well, usually it'd be like, you know, this one first, but since there is like parentheses here, then I have to uh, put 14 first and then, okay. So we have seven. Wait. The color, it's uh, purple. I do not recall seeing a purple color on the locker, but maybe there is. Maybe. And do I, I don't know if I have to solve this in any way. I mean, hey, I enjoy getting dopamine from doing homework as anybody else, but I, uh, I, I just too many, uh, too many, right? There's like five and there is no five digit codes. Call me crazy, but what if in the science room, all these colors, I, I gotta count them. I don't know. Excuse me. Um, so we have, they're a bit different though. I don't know. I don't know if I actually have to count them. But hey, you know what? If I only know one number, if I actually only know one number from the locker to open above, I can open it. Because it narrows down from 9,999 options to only 999, which is very doable uh, with this input system because it does not... It doesn't require me to confirm my selections, so I can just quickly breeze through it. Oh, wait a second. It's not a picture of a teacher, it's a picture of the number five. So it has a color associated to it. Okay, that narrows down to 99 options. I think we can open the locker now. Damn, I, uh, it just really looked like a teacher to me. So, yeah, that, that was really silly of me to think of it as a, not a number. Since again, every time I open a room like that, I gotta gain something out of it. Yet, uh, for the sake of keeping everything moving, I've, I've just decided to move on. All right, let's go right side. So we have, Five, seven. Now we do this until I uh, find the right number. I got it. So it was an, uh, eight, five, seven, seven. Doesn't matter, I got it. I got a drill? Oh, we can unscrew the vent. <laughs> Don't try and stand in my way. Anyway, I'm glad. I was starting to sweat when I was getting close to the, you know, to the limit of how many options I can put. I was like, damn, did I actually screw it up? Did I miss, uh, Misunderstood one of the numbers. Oh, there we go. I 
I got a janitor key. Okay. Down we go, I guess. The janitor's room was down below. Along alongside the staff faculty. Ah, I'm out of water and I still feel dehydrated. Um I'll get myself some water. I still feel thirsty and I've drank a lot of water. I'm not sure what's up with that. Maybe this game is salty or maybe I'm salty. One of the two. I've just got to find the janitor's room and get out of here. Or hopefully I find a flashlight and go down to the basement. Or maybe we'll figure out a secret um, janitor stills. That was the, his name, right? Janitor stills was hiding. Oh, that's the exit sign. I was like, what the? What is that? Basement, janitor's closet. All right, janitor's stills. Oh, he does have a flashlight. What do you know? Uh, there's kids keep managing to, to steal my spare keys. I've had to restore to hiding them in strange places, even burying them on the school grounds. I hope that... <laughs> Burying them. What a silly. Um, I hope the temporary workers can manage to keep this facility in order while I'm on my vacation. God, I can't wait to get a break from these little bastards. <laughs> Seems like janitor still really love his job. I guess he can get very creative. What happened to my flashlight? I can't change to it. I assume it just uses automatically then. Well, there is something down here for sure, so... So hopefully you don't die right away. All right, all right, all right, Mr. Whiteface. Come out, come out. Come out with your hands up, I have a flashlight. This is also where all the students died, right? So, I'm bound to see something. Is this the repeating hallway? It feels like it is. Oh no, it's not a repeating hallway. Just a very long one. Oh yeah, sure. I'm just gonna take whatever is inside this chest and I'll be fine. Why do they even keep chests anyway? That's so old. Just use drawers. I <laughs> got an office key. Yeah, sure. <laughs> of course they're gonna let me out. My flashlight's not working. Oh no. Mr. Whiteface. Please, I can explain. I was just joking around. Oh wait, my flashlight works even better now. <laughs> the joke is on you, Whiteface. Staff record. Whiteface is an em entity commonly reported by the students here at Quiet Valley High. Some of them believe that it is a manifestation of the collective student body of the class of 84. It has become a trend for students to graffiti the school walls with depictions of the apparition. A petition has even been started requesting the creature be made into a new school mascot. Oh, so maybe he's the mascot. Oh wait, am I being gassed? I gotta get out of here. My vision is getting blurry. Don't mind me, guys. I'll get you the mascot out of here, which I assume you guys are. Anyway, I'm uh, uh, I, I, I'm very sorry, but I just have to go. Hope you guys understand. <laughs> wow, I've been smoking some weed. Those are a lot of students. gonna take a while
I got it. I did it. Now let's see what Principal Sanders was hiding in his office. Is the office the other way? I think it is. Let's go the other way. Damn, look at all this technology. Many students have been caught sneaking around the school at night. It is difficult for them to dare each other to stay overnight in hopes to witness paranormal events. Some of these students have claimed to see the ghosts of the children who were murdered here all those years ago. It is being man mandated that students found un unsupervised after hours will be permanently expelled. What? All staff is to be notified of this new policy. A little rough, don't you think? A silly little game that doesn't really cause any harm. And you're gonna permanently expel them? Gee. What do they mean by permanently expel? Like Sanders? Handgun ammo. Why? The deed is done. Wait a second. This note is very different. It seems old. Yeah, this is from 84. This uh, is uh, by the principal. The one that killed everyone. The deed is done. I thought I would feel a sense of relief, but instead I feel empty. I'm wondering now if I made the right choice. Those kids knew nothing of my pain. They knew not of the world outside these walls, but now that they are gone, they can no longer feel anything at all. With that thought, I begin to feel the same. There is nothing but silence here now. For a moment I can finally hear myself think, in the quiet between the bricks and mortar. I am at last without responsibility. I want to take it in for long longer, to truly enjoy it, but I hear the sirens drowning nearer. Shortly a uh, shortly now, I will be joining them on the other side. They will welcome me there. <laughs> you wish! In the halls of a new school. Now, as I hold the gun to, in my hand, I feel guilt. The instant it passes, I will pull the trigger. We were put here on this earth for such a short time. Today, I simply made the time shorter. I only made things simpler for them. I gave them an easy way out. In their prime, before it all goes to shit. What's that? Is that a... Where am I? the sirens um you're not the bad guy you're not the principal I'm not shooting you buddy This is the principal's office. It's been 10 years now. I'll never forgive myself.
I deserve to stay here. Forever. What? I got a bad ending. Welp, I uh, got the good ending, but uh, it seemed like something bugged out because my recording program stopped capturing the game. So, yeah, that's great. Anyway, uh, I've interacted with every single object in the school. So I've came up with a conclusion that, hey, after two and a half hours of interacting with everything, if nothing actually shows up, it means that whatever it is I'm looking for is in a time-sensitive time moment. And uh, indeed it was. I found something. But... I, uh... Well, <laughs> I wasn't recording, so now I have to redo everything again. And, uh, yeah, I did not think I'm gonna be recording this game for three hours, let me tell you. But, um... Hey, it's a shame. It is what it is. I can't really do anything about any issue, any issue that pops up, really. I'm just gonna re-record it and uh, have you be a happy camper. And also, I'm making sure it doesn't stop recording again, because if it does, oh boy, I'm gonna be slapping some, some people, let me tell you. So, in this section... Where everything gets a bit intense, and it looks like you gotta get out and run out screaming. You're actually supposed to be on your toes for something a little sneaky. It looks very, very sneaky. It's around here, though. For sure. There it is. <laughs> I heard someone say something. And there you go. There was a note that said I had to show the kids the light. So I presume this is what it was talking about. Anyway, though, I have the key to the office and it's right here. Where is he? Where is he, huh? There you are. Come here. Get repelled, dummy. Pay for all the sins uh, you haven't committed. Because you and the kids were actually pretty unfortunate. But, um... They're free. Perish. Oh, I'm back here. At last our souls can rest. I can finally forgive myself. Our suffering is no more. Well... Thank you. Thank you. Why are you thanking him? He destroyed your lives and screwed you over and you're over here. Thank you. The hell is wrong with you kids? 
That was quite Valley by James. Thank you mates so much for watching me play this for around three hours. I'll see you some other time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye.